my name is Melis. So, how are you guys? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So, like I said, welcome to our family workshop again. Uh, we are today. I'm going to give the information about the pottery, how we're doing it, how we shape it, design it. So, we are doing this side between like 300 years. Like I said, this is our family art, family job, and I'm the seventh generation in this family. So, thank you for now to coming and visiting our family. I hope you will guys have fun. So. Uh, now I'm going to start with the clays. We have two types of clay. One is white and one is red clay. We like you see, red and white clay. Yeah. We obtain our clays around this area. The red clay is from our uh, Red River, Turkey's longest river, and the white clay is from our Lawshall Mountains around this area too. It came like like a stone, then we smash it and it becomes a powder like this. After that we mix it with water and it's ready to shape it. But for the white clay we add some quartz inside it. Like you see it comes like a stone too, then we smash it, add it to the white clay and the quality comes more stronger. So, after the clay we shape it. After we shape it, we'll let it dry between two or three days. It's about the shape and size a little bit. After it dries, we fire it. And you can see the step on this plate. The first firing. After the first firing, we draw with three hands. We dye with natural colors. Then we glaze it. If we glaze the item, we fire it twice because in glaze, we have glass powder. Then we fire it, the glass get melt on the surface and you see before and after. Yeah, the glaze saves the color. We call this one ceramic, you can use for food, for whatever you want, it's washable too. The color never gets out. So I want to show you some designs. If you're asking what's the oldest design in Turkey, this is the oldest one. Blue and white, the natural color and the geometrical designs. Like you see. Would you like to touch it? See? Another one too. Would you like to touch this one too? Very nice. Tulip. Yeah. 3D, 3D. Yeah. And this is our original Turkish color. We call it, do you know what's it called? Turkaz. Turkaz. Yeah. It's a little bit greenish and you see it has a tulip design on it too. Original Turkish color and design. And my favorite design is special. Yeah. Very nice. Do you guys have any idea? Is devil's eyes? Like, what does it mean? No. Devil's eyes. <laughs> devil's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so this design call it Tree of Life. So let, yeah. So let's say this is mom and dad of the family and this is part of the family. So this is the kids, the grandchild, the grandchild, the seventh generation. No, that's, that's not the seventh generation, I'm going to show you that. It's kind of like a family tree. Yeah. We call it tree of life. And this is our own special family design. You can't see it anywhere else, it's just owned to us. So the first circle is the first generation of the family and the other circles are the other generations. So I'm somewhere like here. Yeah. <laughs> like that. And if you ask me what's the symbol of Cappadocia, I will show you this. So any idea what is this? No. Think? Yeah, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Like 4,000 years ago, the Hittites people used okay. for saps and juice or water for their king. Oh. So the circle represents the sun because they believe in God's sun. Mm -hmm. And when the sun is rising, they put the sun on the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. And when the first sun comes inside the ring, they think the water or the juice is blessing. Oh. After that, the show is now. They put that on their shoulder and say, they king oh. like this. Yeah. 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 And this is the original design of Cappadocia. 